Hey everybody, I'm here today with a driving lesson on driving in a straight line. In this video, I'll be going over the basics of driving in a nice straight line. This is important if you're driving on a side street or if you're driving on a main road, trying to stay in the center of the lane or even driving on the highway, trying to stay in the center of the lane. With that being said, let's get right into the video. I'm gonna start driving in a straight line. You know, I might have to make a few turns here and there, but I'm gonna be driving mostly in a straight line and I'm going to tell you a few specific things that you should be doing with that being said let's get right to it so first and foremost the first thing is to look ahead while you're driving if you're looking at the hood of your car or at your dashboard then what's gonna happen is you're gonna be going a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left if you look slightly to the right you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna make your way slightly to the right with regards to your steering if you are looking slightly to the left then you're gonna make your way slightly to the left with your steering so with that being said look ahead looking ahead is gonna keep you nice and straight it's gonna give you a nice gauge of how to keep your wheel straight and it's gonna give you a nice focal point you want that focal point when you're trying to drive in a straight line the second thing that I want to go over is keeping two hands on the wheel as often as possible. Now, it would be very unrealistic for me to tell you to keep two hands on the wheel all the time. It's just not to say it's not possible, but it's not practical at all. So instead, I'm telling you to keep two hands on the wheel as often as possible. If you're driving a manual car, you're obviously going to have to shift gears. And even if you're driving an automatic car, you're going to have to adjust things on the center console or adjust your climate or adjust your radio every once in a while so with that being said it's not practical to be able to drive like this the entire time so I'm just trying to tell you that having two hands on the wheel makes it easier for you to drive in a straight line it gives you more balance on the wheel and it just makes it easier so with that being said try to keep two hands on the wheel as often as possible now let me just explain one simple thing that demonstrates exactly what I'm talking about if I'm driving with one hand on the wheel my hand is centered in the wheel but the 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 length of from my shoulder to my hand is on an angle so what that means is that although my hand is centered on the wheel the the connecting part from my shoulder to my hand as you can see my shoulder is to the side my hand is centered so it's an it's on an angle so it's harder for me to steer the car straight or drive in a nice straight line so that's why having two hands on the wheel is important and also it's important to note that when you have two hands on the wheel you shouldn't be keeping your hands on the wheel to the side or to the other side your hands should be balanced on the wheel if you can imagine your steering wheel as a clock I would recommend keeping your hands probably at either the 10 and 2 or the 9 and 3 or sometimes people even keep their hands down below somewhere along like the 4 o'clock and the 8 o'clock. So it, you know it all depends on your specific driving needs but I do recommend that you keep your hands balanced. You want them to be balanced on that steering wheel in one way or another. The next thing that I want to talk about for driving in a straight line is making micro adjustments. Now if you hold the steering wheel straight just like this. You know, you might be thinking that you're going to be keeping your car in a nice straight line, but you're probably not. And let me explain why. If you think you're holding the steering wheel straight, it might not actually be 100% straight. And if it's slightly to the right or slightly to the left and you just hold it like that, just like that, then what's going to happen is you're going to veer more and more to one side or the other. Now, let's say in an imaginary world, you're actually holding the steering wheel perfectly, perfectly straight. Well, the, the lines on the road or the roadways or the lanes or the, the area that you're driving in the streets themselves might not be perfectly straight so with that being said even if you can manage to hold the wheel straight the streets might not be straight and even if the streets are straight and you're holding the wheel straight your alignment might be ever so slightly off and that's going to make your car move to the right or to the left a little bit so with that being said it's important to make these micro adjustments now let me just tell you that these micro adjustments are basically when you take the wheel and you're just moving it slightly to the right or to the left, just constantly correcting the tiny little errors in our, uh, what we call straight line. So I think that I'm driving in a straight line now, but I have to constantly make these little adjustments with the wheel because I'm not actually driving in a perfectly straight line. It's a line that's relatively straight and it's, you know, it's slightly off because that's human nature and that's the nature of the roads and the cars that we drive and that we drive on. The last thing that I want to talk about is your grip. Now you should have a fairly firm grip on the steering wheel, right? But your grip 
should also be flexible in the sense of your shoulder movement. So I'm gonna pull over to show you this. You know, like I said, your grip on the wheel should be firm, meaning like I should be gripping the wheel pretty firmly. But if I had just a stiff shoulder setting, then what would happen is my micro adjustments would be very rough, like this, right? But because if you keep a flexible shoulder setting, then you're gripping the wheel nice and firmly, but your shoulders are allowing you to just do this, to make these little micro adjustments in a smooth manner. Now I'm exaggerating it now, but when you make those micro adjustments, they're gonna be super smooth. Because if you're steering with these micro adjustments and they're very stiff, you're gonna end up swerving down the road in like a zigzag pattern and you don't want that. You wanna steer in a nice straight line. And that's basically it. In this video, I've gone over the basics of driving in a straight line. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.